All right, guys, we're back with loading the pager with motion because I don't think people can really fully understand that. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't fully understand it. But I know you're kind of working in a debit credit situation. And I think you're doing that even if you don't have the pager. You know, but you're keeping a tab in your head. You know, and again, I've got a general idea of what my bank account is all the time. I understand if I'm making a large withdrawal or a large deposit. So, you know, you've got to have that in your mind. If you want to maintain the ability, you know, because, I mean, you see, I can get these dogs out, and then they're just boom, 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 boom. The reason is because is I've preloaded that pager with motion, and there's two ways to do that. Do it when they're in motion or find a way to create motion and make that a part of it. So this is Kanga, and this like it's, it's tons of motion, tons. So I think I, I think a good thing with any dog is is this guarding behavior thing. I, I see where that's a good, yeah, get that out of the way. Here's the deal, you know, you know, and then you could show anybody. You could show kids how to do it or whatever. You know, just as a defensive maneuver when they tried to steal from you. You know, and if you said, what experience do you have dogs stealing from? Oh, God, that's all they do. If I turn my back, you know, God forbid I leave my phone, the treats or anything sitting on the counter. It's gone. I know, it's awful. It's awful. Anyway, he's got a default down. So, you know, I'm not using the pager in conjunction with this because there's no motion. He's actually got a default. You know, if I actually just pretend like I start. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Uh-huh. Oh, and Linda, if you're there, I wasn't trying to cut you off. I just, I was right in the process of going live, so I just told you my address was plastered online. Um, you know, I do think it's important for today's dog to have that behavior. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, no, I'm going to give her a bath. Don't worry. Oh, she smells like a goat now. No, she's been swimming. Oh, in fact, I think I'll take them down and do one last little black lab video of all the little black labs together. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, that'll be cute. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's about what's going on, uh-huh. I mean, and so you can see that he understands I'm talking to somebody other than him. Now he sees, you know, it's more about him. All right, so what I'm going to do is use my footstool for the marker. thinks it's creepy. Mark the doctor, not Mark the uh, dog trainer. But, you know, the little, if you want a dog to do something, I mean, your average American has figured this out, you know, is laugh when it does it. So, I do have a component of that. I do want you to think of, and I probably haven't said this before, but yay is a component of that laughter and, you know, joy or whatever. If we said they're mirroring our behavior, his internal dialogue would be, it loves it when I do that. Oh, it loves it then. It's so happy then. So I've got my basket, and he will bring the He's the one that taught Crash to bring the basket. So I'm going to put it down here. And I haven't done my pager at all with that, but I don't think He's got a very... All right, so here's my... I, I did the pager to get him off there. Bumped it right there. He oddly comes around, if I do it in the back on this little mat, he comes around, oh, he goes on that side, so, you know, what I'm saying to myself, he's already moving anyway, I'm throwing the pager in there, I'm loading it up, I'm loading it with my He's a little sluggish today, though. I gotta tell you, he's not his usual bouncy self. Oh, he started to bring three. But you can see he's got the same way of going around. And if you said, well, you should make him do it different. If you tried to make him do it different, you're really kind of interrupting the zen. Because the whole thing has got a flow to it. Oh, he's 
Honestly, I mean, you've got to be, you know, saying to yourself, this does bring me joy. If this is your passion in life and training the dog and it doing everything, it is your joy. So you should be laughing. You should be happy. You know, and I think you have to be able to express that. I see where if they don't even really feel you have that, you know, they may not have it either. All right, let me see if I can just do a little obedience. So now my pager's all loaded up. Oh, I'm just doing it. If you said, when are you doing it? I'm doing it in conjunction with the movement. So you, if you said, you know, are you moving in with the pager or, or is the pager moving with him? One of the two. All right. So look, I can get him leaping off there and I'm going to throw my pager in when he's in the air. And he's the one that's got the hand signal. When he sees that hand, this hand open, he understands and then I can try like the little churn, like with Barkley, maybe to get him leaping, because I think he's gonna leap. Okay. He's nothing but, I have had him a little sit. So there's my pager, pager, pager. Pager. And if you said, when is this, when are you stopping the pager? Concurrent with the stopping. So that's why he's getting that, all right, look, he's a little bit crookedy. I don't want to dance around though, so. So I got my pager, boom. Uh, it's crazy, but you can reverse it. Oh, and this is the one that does the good send away. So let me show you that one. And if you said, how do you do a send away? I think you do it by going over there a hundred times. I think you do it by convincing them you're trying to race them over there 100 times. <laughs> Not get them going over there. So I've... Yay! Oh, his nachos all over again. Um, all I've got to do, and I want to have a nice little trajectory... And I think this helps. I think if you wanted to change your trajectory, you could move that. But all I've got to do with this dog is point my hand in that direction as a cue that that's where I'm going. And I'm holding the pager down about halfway. And if you said halfway, him, no, halfway to me getting there, I'm letting it up. All right, so. All right, so he's going to see the open hand. He's going to know we're going, and he's probably going to leave. And I do want to reward that. All right, there's my turn, turn. Hand is out. And if you said it's a lot more work, it is, but it'll pay off. It'll pay off. I'm trying to get it to go over there, because if you said, if you said, how would you know you were getting somewhere? I think if you had so much momentum, it just shot off the platform. You know, maybe that's how you would have. You know, and I've already got a little bit of movement there. I can add my, and I think I had a command, dog in training. But that's what I'm saying, dog in training me. Meet me there, not you go over there. probably would never have enough momentum to keep going off there until I got a little faster. Anyway, I think you get the idea, but that's, you know, I'm, I'm only doing my pager, you know, and this, this is a horrible thing. This thing is horrible. 
But I'm at, you know, now I can use my pager to get to make them have movement. Heal. So suddenly, heal. So I'm not, this hand wasn't even, yay! Oh, he goes backwards too. I can hang on. All right, sure. That was the only thing I saw wrong in that video. I'm just going to tell you right now, you've got to be very careful, and this is anybody, with your left hand. This is where I see people going wrong. Once the left hand gets behind you, you're screwed. You've seen these people, if they're trying to walk, and I'm going to tell you why. That's, it's different if you're leading it, your hands have to kind of be here. Once this hand goes back, and if you said you, your hand goes back, it does... It does for that turn towards, because that does, this hand does indicate you're turning that way, but then it comes back up. So I'll do that real quick. So this hand, heel. He didn't know how to get down from that angle. Heel, I forgot you're not nachos. Heel. You know, if this hand is disappearing for that turn, it reappears. It reappears. I think you've got to, you know, don't drink. You've got to be able to say to yourself, I'm communicating with my whole body. My whole body. I'm starting from my core, so every, my arms, my legs, my eyes, my everything is giving cues all the time. It's just, if that, if this arm gets behind you, I think you have to think, you have to think of having a, you know, anybody needs to have like a collective body language. And that's if that if you ride horses too. You know, you don't have your arms out, everything, everything is very, not that you might not momentarily. All right, let me see if I can get him to leap one more time. So if I want him to leap, I kind of get him, warmed up a little, and I got to do the open hand, so remember that's just honestly a subtask in itself, but from here I can push them, but this hand, this hand now at this point, heel, is in front of me, because I'm working it with this hand, dog and train. That's what you've got to think of. I mean, you've got to think of it like, and I'm not sure, I've only trained with the pager for so long, I don't know anything about any other kind of training, but I think uh, it would be the same with any kind of training. You're, you're working on, you know, or any relationship or anything in life, your gas tank, your mortgage, your anything. It's a debit credit situation, so. Anyway, Hello, Prasad. I'm just getting done with this one, but I'm going to be right back. If you guys have any requests for uh, a certain kind of dog, I got to do the Rottweiler, and um, I got, I'm going to do the Cockapoo right now. So I'll be right back. 